Hi there, hello, and huh. Oh. Okay, we can actually probably get started here. It's so weird. This starting of the video is so weird because you know you kind of think that maybe I should start the video this way by drinking coffee like in a relaxed manner and and then oh, oh you're there I didn't notice that that you are recording there even though there's nobody here but yeah anyway um, I'd like to talk today a little bit about my setup and I'm just I was wondering that why am I actually really doing this why am I making the YouTube videos now and why I'm getting interested about it so I think the reason is just I'm curious and I want to learn so I'm in the process of learning if you if you allow so uh, I went to the big camera shop here in Japan today and I bought some fluorescent uh, light spirally bulbs and and these are um, these are actually 6500 Kelvin so so they are actually on the colder end of the daylight spectrum if you if you may uh, um, in the internet people will say that yeah you should get like at least like, it's better to go with 5500 or around that era because you know um, these can get a bit of bluey and and so on so so I bought two of these and two of these cost about uh, 3500 yen which is about uh, $35 in US dollars if you allow and in euro it's about uh, might be about 30 euro and yeah, it's pretty decent cost, and and they are 20 watts, so they draw uh, 20 watts um, electricity, and they produce equivalent of about 100 watts. So, so about about like someone said in the internet that about the uh, about this 100 watt and about this uh, incandescent light uh, equivalency, uh, uh, it's kind of uh, because these are not. Uh, these are fluorescent lights, so they are different. So you can't really compare that so well. So, so it's always better to, to sort of see how much wattage they take, and then sort of develop your own scale about the estimate about the power of the lights. But anyway, I got two of them now, and I'm using them on that umbrella there. So this is like my main light, and then I've got also this guy which I bought a couple of years back, and this is even a bit colder. This is like about this one was uh, yeah 6,700k so this is super cold <laughs> it's also getting getting a bit cold so I'm having that as a fill light with shooting through another umbrella which works as a diffuser so I was just trying to make this kind of a flat uh, basic um, basic light which looks clean and which looks um, proper and which allows my professional iPhone camera which is set up there to, to capture better you know if uh, it's, it's better to have more light I suppose and I'm not noticing any problems. However, it's not. I'm not seeing a flicker. Uh, it's. Uh, it looks. They don't make absolutely silent. They don't make any kind of uh, interference or any kind of flicker. And they are reasonably uh, cool. So, so you know, fluorescent lights are are not uh, very very hot. So, so yeah. Uh, I don't know what to say. I'm pretty happy about this result. I can actually shoot maybe later to some shoot the the. Um, umbrellas later you can get the idea this is cheap umbrellas which I got as a present from my school where I attended in photography school back then and and yes uh, yeah it's very very interesting and and I'm also very interested about sound because I actually found uh, I remember I have actually one condenser mic uh, Sony ECM 999PR uh, very old uh, old mic which I used when I was Doing a broadcasting, uh, I was actually doing sound recording for the Wiley um, broadcasting in Finland back in a what's that 15 years ago, and I use this mic for for that, and it's pretty pretty good microphone actually. Uh, so I was because I was thinking that I should uh, get some of the uh, snowball uh, mics, which are sold in Amazon. You can get them pretty cheap. But I was thinking, okay, I have this condenser mic. So I'm gonna try this, and I'm surprised. Oh, this is actually pretty good. So, so yeah, I'm gonna be trying this and making some tests. So, uh, the problem what I had is just that uh, I don't have actually the XL because it, this used the special stereo XLR uh, connector, which is pretty rare. 
and then uh, it's because it's a stereo mic you can actually adjust the stereo image and everything I can actually do another video about this mic later but, but yeah so I don't actually have um, XLR breakout uh, wire uh, the connector which has um, because it's stereo so it, there's, a, there's a cable which uh, splits the stereo channels to two individual XLR and then my Macintosh I'm using Apogee um, interface and Apogee interface doesn't have a it has only XLR input so I don't have that I'm having a stereo plug which I'm now using the the PC uh, the, the interface in my PC to record and Audacity to record sound so so it's very interesting to see how this will turn out and I'm also interested that uh, can I actually do anything to the footage can I maybe because it's it's a bit cold yeah and, and admit that the uh, Cold temperature in this room right now is is rather uh, it's rather bluish, so I would like maybe maybe adjust it a little bit warmer. So so yeah, but but uh, learning is is wonderful thing, and this is what it means to learn new things. And I'm just uh, trying to live my life as open-minded and as as just uh, and enjoy this process of uh, of finding new things and trying out new new setups and new things so yeah uh, I hope you enjoyed this little and yeah and I have actually some of these pops I, I forgot to show you so this one is one of the um, one of the fluorescent pops uh, so basically the ones which I'm using so they are basically the same type um, this one is yeah this one is yeah probably the, about approximately the same power uh, might be a little bit less power. It says uh, 20 watts, so it's drawing 20 watts. So also same as these, and also the color temperature of this one is pretty cool. So I'm I'd be using this, and then I have also the one more, one more of this this super uh, red, warm. Um, this is like amber color light, which I've used for effects later. But yeah. Anyway, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little video and I will do uh, more videos soon, so uh, stay tuned.